8.6 solving exponential and logarithmic equations. This is the last section that we actually have um, in chapter 8, so that is good. Um, but this is the pinnacle, this is what we got to. We did all those properties of logs and we figured out how to rewrite exponential equations and all that so that we can now um, get to uh, solving actual equations that contain logarithms. So, example one, okay, um, what we can do with an item like this is we can try to make the bases the same. And to make the bases the same when solving a problem like this, if you do make the bases the same, um, then all we have to worry about is the exponents in the problem. So we cannot do anything because the bases aren't the same, so let's make them the same. How could I make a 4 into an 8? Well, I really can't. Um, but is there a way for me to make the 8 into the 4? Well, once again, no, not really. But if I wanted to, if I tried to rewrite both of these items in terms of exponents, I could write the 4 in terms of 2 squared. I could write the... Um, the 8 in terms of 2 to the third and the reason I did that is now the bases are the same you see that now both bases are 2's this is 2 squared which is 4 and the reason why I have that 3x hanging out here is because you can't forget about that 3x because that's already in the exponent so what I'm saying is I rewrote this with 2 in the exponent but I also have the 3x there I rewrote this with a 3 but keep in mind that means I also have the x plus 1 in the exponent as well so 2 times 3 that's 6x up there and I can distribute that through 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 1 is 3 now that I now have the bases the same, I can forget about them. I don't need to worry about them. So really, forget that they're even there. I can just solve the top. So now it's like a regular old equation. 6x equals 3x plus 3. I can very simply just combine my x's by subtracting a 3x on both sides. And I end up with 3x equals 3. And I can divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 1 as my answer. And once again, you can check your answer like anything else. Plug a 1 in there. 3 times 1 is 3, so this is 4 to the third. Plug in a 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2, so 8 squared. Well, 8 squared is 64. 4 to the third power is 64, so it does actually work for both answers. Example 2. Okay, We can't solve a problem like this. And you can sit there and try to think in your head, but can you think of a nice even number? 2 to the, you know, 3rd or 2 to the 4th, right? Well, 2 to the 3rd is 8. All right. Uh, 2 to the 4th is all, 2 to the 3rd is already too high, but 2 to the 4th is even higher. 2 squared is 4, which means your answer for x has to be something in between 2 and 3. Now, I know what all of you will instantly say. You'll instantly sit there and go, oh, right in the middle. Oh, it has to be 2 and a half. Right, no. Okay, that's not what it has to be. The point is, it could be anything. So this is why we went through all those properties, and this is why we went through how to rewrite exponents into logs. Because if I rewrite this, I can use the change of base formula to solve the problem. So when I rewrite this, I can take this as remember this is the base, right? This two is the base, so that means it's going to be the base in my log, right? So I do log base two on both sides and basically what happens is they cancel out so the log base 2 on both sides cancels out and I have a log base 2 7 those cancel out so I have x equals log uh, base 2 7 and to type that in on your calculator right? if you want to type that in on your calculator all you would do is log 7 over log 2 which gives you roughly 2.807 um, which is your actual answer to that problem. Okay, so just remember, log with a little 2 there on both sides. And that's actually an easier way to um, do the formulas and change them around. Whatever this base is, that's the base here, log base 2 on both sides. And according to our one property, those cancel out, leaving us with just an x. Example 3. Uh, before we try to do what we did in the last problem, let's make sure all we have is just the base of the uh, exponential on that side. So to do that, let's subtract a 4 first. 
and when I do that I end up with 17 okay well no problem now what I can do is I can try to see if I can rewrite this well since this is log with a or sorry since this is a base 10 I could do a log with a little base 10 on both sides right so log base a little base 10 on both sides that means these cancel out so all I have left on that side is 2x minus 3 and I have log base 10 17 so I can change that into a number by doing log 17 over log 10 and when I do that I get roughly 1.23 so really I have 2x minus 3 equals 1.23 even though there's a decimal still an easy equation to solve, I add 3 to both sides. So I get 2x equals 4.23. Divide both sides by 2. And I end up getting x equals 2.12 as an answer. And when we come back, I'll try to finish up 8.6, uh, solving exponential and logarithmic equations.